miss the stories which hit the headlines lately? The Daily Tribune is here to give you a flashback of the recent happenings. Here are Daily Tribune's top 5 trending stories of the week. We're starting the list with a showbiz story. Celebrity couple Derek Ramsey and Ellen Adarna got married at sunset on November 11 in a private ceremony in Rancho Bernardo Luxury Villas in Bataan. Guests were limited to the couple's sons from their previous relationships, their families, and friends. The two tied the knot after about 10 months of dating. Coming in number 4, the ruling PD Pilaban announced on Friday that it's considering its original plan of building Senator Christopher Bongo and President Rodrigo Duterte as its standard bearers in the May 2022 elections, days before the substitution deadline. Their announcement came after Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio joined Lajas on Thursday night, which will pave the way for a possible presidential run. PD Pilaban standard bearer Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa and President Duterte previously declared that they want to seek the top government post in the coming polls if the Dirty Carpio joins the presidential race. At number 3, Vice Presidential Aspirant and Senator Bongo on Tuesday turned emotional as he advised the public to expect changes in the list of candidates in the 2022 national elections. During his speech in Antipolo City, an emotional go talk about his late-breaking developments along with the possible alterations in his vice presidential bid ahead of the period of substitution of candidates on November 15. At number 2, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio's withdrawal of her re-election bid for the 2022 22 polls last Tuesday drew mixed reactions from the presidential aspirants. Senator Mani Pacquiao said he was surprised by her cancellation of free election bid but wished her well on her future plans. For former Senator Ferdinand Marcos Jr., he will push through with his candidacy for president even if the presidential daughter will run against him. Manila Mayor Esco Moreno, meanwhile, downplayed Duterte Carpio's possible national bid, saying that he does not care whatever others want to do with their politics. On the other hand, Labor leader Caliodi de Guzman dared to turn the carpet to run so that the public can supposedly show their grievance towards her father's administration. And taking the first spot this week is the story about the resignation of Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio from her own regional party, Hugpong ng Pagbabago, to join Lakas CMD and National Party. Her recent move even sparked more speculations that she will be seeking the presidency by substituting the said party's current standard bearer. Despite repeatedly saying that she will not run for president in the past, the third Corpio made the move days before the window for substitution of candidates expires on November 15. She has yet to announce whether or not she will join the presidential race as of November 12. This has been Michelle Galeang and that's it for Daily Tribune's Top 5 Trending Stories of the Week.